You know something? I find it super interesting back in high school when I was, um, you know, getting ready for prom or whatever. I mean, I was planning on action, I think, one girl out to prom. But obviously, that didn't work. Obviously, I should have asked her sooner or later. This event is going to be horrible. I should have asked her sooner or later. Don't get me wrong. Um, however, this was around the early time. I speed through this. The early times of me starting to plan, you know. With the time, basically, where I had time to um, ask a female for prom. Um, one female, I asked her, hey, are, are you planning on going to prom? And she was like, oh, no, I'm not going there. And I was like, oh, okay. So I decided not to really ask her, if, you know, to be my prom date or whatever. So then I was trying to look at some other girl or whatever. But while I was looking at some other girl, because the thing is, I was kind of thinking of high school sweetheart at the time. I don't know why, but hey, that's what I was doing, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. High school sweetheart at my last year of high school. And that was the high school I moved to. Like the first three years of my high school, I was at the same high school. Then the last year I moved, which was the most horrible experience ever. But it is what it is. Anyway, so while I'm over here looking at some other girl, planning on how I'm going to ask her to be my prom date or whatever. Everyone in, everyone in my, in my, um, in my classes, they knew something about me being quote unquote weird and being really nerdy and stuff like that. And being real quiet, I guess I can say. So one time, was it my last period? No, my second to last period. It was PE, fit gym class, whatever. Was it? I think it was gym class. But anyways, I remember. It's actually you got you plan on getting somebody for prom, Ray Marco? I was like, yeah, I got someone in mind. Maybe. And then next thing you know, it's like if you don't have a prom date, you can you can take this person out. And the person they was, I knew I had a feeling they was gonna refer to the person I knew they was gonna refer to. And the person they referred to, I'm called her Y girl. Um, y girl. And her name started with a, a Y. I, I I think they knew my looks match. They knew my looks match, or they just didn't care. A female is the one who told me that. In fact, the female who suggested this one female was way more attractive than the girl I was actually, that, that she suggested. Um, the girl she suggested, white girl, she was not attractive at all. Not attractive at all. And then she used to make the Yoshi sound. So yeah, she was just not attractive at all. I'm not gonna get into specific details. She was just not attractive at all. I'm not gonna bring a number on her because they are making me feel bad. The point is, she was just not attractive at all. Yet she, yet that other girl felt that she, why, why girl was just my looks match, or you know, looks equivalent, something like that. I'm not saying the girl I was unattracted to is ugly. Not, I'm not saying that because I don't like calling people ugly. However, however, I need to speed up. I'm already late for work. However, I feel like in a sense she was calling me kind of ugly as well. Kind of. In a sense, that's kind of how I feel, you know. That's what she was referring to. Oh, they both look, they both in the same beauty range. So they should be together. You you should be with this person. In a sense, no, I don't think she was calling me that at all. Don't get me wrong. However, calling me ugly. However, I don't know, he's just crazy though. 
Maybe she's just being a female, doing female things. Oh, I feel like you would be really good with this person. Like maybe she was trying to convince a man to be with women he's not really attracted to. Obviously, I didn't tell her that. I think I said okay, but no, I got someone else in mind, something like that. So yeah, I don't recall telling that girl, even the white girl herself, that you know she wasn't un she was unattractive to me. The point of this video was, I feel like that female, because of how I was, and don't get me wrong, back then I I, I shaded my hair. I have really short hair. I, my, I was just starting to grow up my hair, so my hair was pretty short. Um, my, my dressing, I did dress pretty baggy, I'm not gonna lie. So, so yeah, she was probably my looks match. She saw how I was dressing, how I acted on top of that. I didn't look the best back in high school, senior year of high school. I didn't look the best, so from there, from there, um, She saw that that Y girl has similar. It was the female equivalent of how I look like, essentially. So she, she, I guess it was a match made in heaven, at least to her. Yeah, I vaguely remember that girl's girl's um. That girl's um, voice. The, the, the cute girl. But I remember the girl I was unattracted to voice. I remember her voice. I hope she's doing well now. I'm not saying I regret my decision not asking her or whatever. I don't regret it at all. <laughs> because I'd rather... I'm, I'm at the point in my life... Well, probably... No, no. Back then... Even though back in 2018 I was more blue pill, don't get me wrong. This one about to be really loud. I was more blue pill back in 2018. However, I was starting to peak at my my early red pill journey. I made a huge exception. I just don't want to go with unattractive women. Period. She cannot be fat. Which, there you go, you know, the unattractive girl was um, fat. She cannot be fat. That's one thing I made for sure. She cannot be fat. And I did not want no black girl at the time. So I was really for all that interracial stuff back in the day in 2018. But, you know, I kind of regret all that part. So there's that. So, that happened, you know. The day before prom, we went on the field trip. I was going to ask the other female I forgot what that girl name is I don't remember that girl name is but I think she was a pale she's a pale Mexican brunette girl with dark hair I remember, and she was skinny too I wanted to ask her but you know I guess not, I didn't get the courage to ask her so eventually on prom on prom day I don't have a prom date or whatever I don't have a prom date, so now the girl I wanted to ask out for prom, she she had a prom date. I was like, oh man, I'm so glad I didn't ask. That dude was tall and everything. Yeah, I was like, wow. Me not asking her, I'm so glad I didn't because that would have been rough. I would have thought probably her man would have like took offense of me asking her out to prom. And honestly, I don't even get the concept of prom. That's the, that's the blue pill mind in me, honestly. I feel like that's the blue pill mind in me. By the fact, what time is it? 10.30, as I thought. That's the blue pill mind in me. Like, I really thought my lifelong partner is supposed to be from be a high school sweetheart. I really thought, you know, these movies really lied to us. They like really lied to us. 
They like really liked her. Really did. But you know, you know, eventually, I mean, I, I went to prom, you know, no prom date. That's going to suck though, but it, it sucked. Don't get me wrong, it, but it is what it is. I just hanged out with my boys. That's all. My senior, my last high school boys, not my, um, not my, um, not my OG high school boys. You know, that really sucked, you know. That really sucked. Obviously, that was out of my control. That was out of my control of um, leaving my original high school. But, um, but that was just, that really sucked. I really wish if I was going to leave my original high school, it needed to be at least after my sophomore year, start my junior and senior year at my, at my last high school. But no, that wasn't the case. It was, it just had to be the last year of high school when I ended up moving back to Chicago. That sucks. Senior year was the worst year ever. You know, each year was, each year was getting worse. Freshman year was just the beginning, but that was a pretty decent year. Especially computer, con, um, considering the computer, the laptop they gave. Sophomore year was really good. Junior year was, uh, eh. and then senior year was just complete. No, I didn't like that year, not at all. I just feel like some Six Flags weather. I need to go to Six Flags eventually. But I'm just so tired. I need to do something about this, about this, you know, overnight shift or whatever. Anyways, that's pretty much it, you know. That girl, she saw my looks match. She saw how I looked. And then she, she took that as well. Okay, well, this is Ray Marco's looks match. His, his looks equivalent. Therefore, he should ask this girl out. Or she was probably saying out of pity, maybe. Out of both of us being, you know, single for prom or whatever. No, because honestly, because I was thinking... I was thinking long term, honestly. But I still don't understand what was I thinking, thinking long term. Thinking long term in my last year of high school. High school prom, prom, you know, sweetheart, whatever. I don't think I was, like, for the most part, because, you know, I... Yeah, I, I was more focused on moving back to, you know, my teenhood city. That's what I was more focused on. That's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, that was it. She saw my looks equivalent, and it wasn't that great. No, I didn't, don't agree. I just saw an interracial couple in, in the car. I hope that is them. <laughs> That's it. Because that's what I was mostly focused on, interracial couple back in the day, 2018. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.